Good morning. <laughs> we are on our way to a secret location somewhere outside of Seattle, heading to paint some murals in a really cool futuristic office space where they do futuristic things with futuristic people and they want some, uh, some cool guy art by yours truly. I'm very honored. We've just pulled up to a corporate megaplex, a bunch of office buildings around here. Now, the giant Fortune 500 business that I am painting for has respectfully requested that I not mention them in this video so they will remain nameless so we're gonna be painting making some crazy murals and I am very very excited it's day one it's time to get this thing going hello welcome to my new offices we are here one of the walls is over here let me introduce you to the big wall this beautiful dark gray wall right here in the lobby area of these offices I'm talking a little bit quietly because this is an active working office so we got to kind of dodge the employees and try not to make too big of a scene but I'm painting this guy let me show you the other wall this is the smaller wall. Both of them are in these kind of like skinny hallways. That's always a bit tricky, especially if we're going to try and like project our art or use a grid. I just bought a short throw projector, so I'm going to try to use that. Hopefully we have enough distance. So this is the new projector I got specifically for this gig. It's a short throw projector and we're hoping that we're going to be able to use this to make our life a lot easier and speed this whole process up a lot. I didn't get the ultra short throw ones because the cheapest ones of those are like two grand and I'm not even sure if they're big enough. But let's take this to the small hallway and test out if this is going to work. Fingers crossed. Long story short, we tried everything we could but we didn't have enough distance to project from floor to ceiling, which means we needed a plan B. Okay, so the projector is kind of too small or it doesn't have a long enough distance to be able to project floor to ceiling on this wall, which means we'd have to use a lot of guesswork on seaming together projected chunks, which is a bit of a bummer, but on this camera right now is a 14 millimeter super ultra wide angle lens and we are able to take a photograph of the whole wall in the hallway which is very important which means we can use a doodle grid so i'm going to scribble doodles all over this wall take a picture of all those scribbles superimpose my concept art over the wall and then that will act as a rudimentary grid for me to draw this super complex mural art on this wall not as fast as the projector, but at least we got something. Okay, now that I have my concept art mocked up, I'm gonna go ahead and start sketching my art onto the wall following my photo merge thingy. The doodle grid is a great method to get your concept art accurately up on the wall. But whenever I can, I prefer to use a projector because it just speeds things up so much. The doodle grid involves a lot of looking at the mock-up and then looking at the wall, and then looking at the mock-up, and then looking at the wall, and then finally making your mark, and doing that process over and over again. You have to really carefully study the superimposed art over the doodle grid before you make each individual mark. Do I love the doodle grid? Hmm, I guess it gets the job done. Wish the projector worked. It's a great trick to have in my back pocket, but I'm always looking to speed up the sketching process whenever I can. Nick and I were using yellow and orange Posca paint markers to sketch up on the wall. Since this wall is so smooth, it worked out really great and we decided to use these light warm colors because they would kind of be the easiest ones to cover up and hopefully wouldn't show through the future paint that we paint over them. Then I grabbed a level and kind of just freestyled this wall portal that all of these creatures are emerging from. Lunchtime, baby. There's very chill vibes in that office space. Everybody's like working on their computer stations, but the sketch is going up good, going a little faster than I thought. It's pretty complex concept art, but the doodle grid came through, and uh, with Nick's help, we're almost ready to paint. This should be the very last of the sketching that I have to do, and then we can finally start painting. Just a little few more details here. And then we're rolling, baby. Nick is gonna start the long and arduous process of trying to cover up the doodle grid. It's got some white paint here. How many layers do you think it's gonna take to cover up that doodle grid? Oh, probably like three. Hopefully Sherwin Williams will do it in two. You know my guy, Sherwin. Sherman Williams. And I am going to work on the deepest part of the portal. Dude, look at how confusing this concept is. <laughs> on the wall, it makes absolutely no sense. We are <laughs> very lost looking at this, but uh, once the paint starts going in, hopefully it'll be way less confusing. 
My first step in painting this mural was to start working on this portal in the wall. This part of the mural had a lot of different shadow colors, a lot of right angles, and was the most like technically accurate section of the mural. And to me, it's much more tricky to paint a nice, clean, straight line and right angles as opposed to curved lines and organic shapes and characters. Now, I am using my homie's golden fluid details for this mural. It's an indoor mural in an office space, so no spray paint this time. Good old Goldens. Definitely slow going, huh, Nick? Yeah. It's slow going. As part of the process of this mural, I would paint a big chunk and then I would have Nick follow behind me to do the second coat to make sure we had good coverage with this acrylic paint. I lucked out my employee Nick can paint inside the lines. Inside the portal is kind of a digital world, so I painted a lot of pixels and jagged elements like it's an 8-bit world in there, and then it slowly becomes more realistic as the creatures emerge from the portal. I've never painted with this pixelated effect before, and I think it looks really cool. It's always really exciting to learn a new technique, and it might be an idea I want to play with a bit more in the future. Good morning. It's like day three or four or something. Finally finished with the portal backdrop optical illusion segment of this. Started painting some of the background elements. I have this pixelated vibe going that is looking so good. Brush painting murals goes so much slower than spray painting murals. It's been a while since I've done a brush painted mural. Kind of wishing I could spray paint this, but since we're in an office environment and there's active staff in here, we don't want to just fumigate this whole place. So back to the brush paints we go. Grab a brush, hurry up, hurry up We're never in no rush With the brush, with the brush I got the faintest touch With the brush, with the brush We're gonna grab a brush, hurry up and bristles to make all these scribbles not quick as a fiddle or fast as a missile not even a little the stroke like a chisel i'm stuck in the middle the hallway is little Co -co corporate get corporate get make this big tick office look vivid there's way too many revisions huh? can i get that in cornflower blue snake in the grass so lace up your boots i got the venom i got the juice scale after scale i got more than a few and damn that shit so texture jumps off the wall right next to me a Brush is second best to me Spray cans could save the rest of wheat But we're gonna grab a brush Hurry up, hurry up We're never in no rush With the brush, with the brush I got the painter's touch With the brush, with the brush We're gonna grab a brush Hurry up, hurry up Mural, mural on the wall I was young, I learned to draw Practice till my arm fell off Pick myself up when I fall Then one day I got the call I fly back to Seattle Chase my dreams, I give my all So I can put this brush to wall and say We're gonna grab a brush Hurry up, hurry up We're never in no rush With the brush, with the brush I got the painter's touch With the brush, with the brush We're gonna grab a brush Hurry up, hurry up Daily life in the freaking Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys look so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Hi. Wow, 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 wow. June knows how to start recording now. Okay, you gotta look right down here, right in this lens, and say hello, world. Hello, world. <laughs> is this what you wanted, Jen? And that's your entertainment. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> Say thanks for coming. It's Saturday morning. Making progress on the mural. They have hired a security guard to babysit us over the weekend, but we can put in some nice long days and hopefully get this mural finished up either today or tomorrow. Very excited about that. Though the brush painting is slow, the progress is being made and it's starting to finally look like something. That's cool. I really connect with the concept of this mural. Looking to the future. Clear vision. At its core, it's about making dreams reality. Inside the portal represents the digital world and the technology that we use as tools to create new things. And then emerging from that portal, there's a vivid world of imagination that spills out.
These offices house a branch of this huge company that's dedicated to being on the cutting edge of new technologies and using them to create new ways to help their customers and their employees. These folks are operating in a new frontier of technology to make the stuff of science fiction a reality. As an artist, designer, and filmmaker, I also find myself embracing new technologies that allow me to turn my dreams into reality. The amount of tools that we creators have today is amazing, and what used to take millions of dollars and a huge team of people can now be done with one creative person and a laptop or an iPad. Feels good to have the gator like mostly done. This is the largest character in the whole mural. And I feel like getting this gator reasonably done just knocked out like 30% of this thing. And it allows me to see the finish line now. And it's looking beautiful. All we have to do is let our worlds of imagination flow out of that digital portal and turn into something magical. So with this mural, I just tried to visualize that concept and have this piece of art represent the work that these engineers, designers, and artists are doing in this space. And I hope that they like it as much as I do. What the heck? Ah, oh, holy cow, how did this happen? What on earth? I don't even know the principles of physics that would cause that to occur. Whew. All's good. Okay, it's Sunday. Day seven, been painting on this guy for a full week. That's uh, brush paint for you. I think I'm gonna be able to finish this mural today and then we can move on to the next mural. Just a few little spots left to do. Hopefully it doesn't take me all day to finish this thing. But let's get painting. This is like one of the first things I painted and I just keep forgetting to paint the bill on this hat. The mural's pretty much done and I still haven't done this bill. So it's time to paint that. Baby, okay, so it's pretty much done. Beautiful, good golly, these colors. Vivid, I'm loving it. Okay, but there is like one more thing in the concept art of like this, oh my gosh, this lens is so dusty. Let me get you guys cleaned up. But there's this thing in the concept art of like this uh, rainbow thingy swirling through it. Hold on, oh, that's bright, that's bright. Ease it down. Let's see, can you guys see that rainbow swirl thing going through there? I just gotta do that. Well, let's put you back, let's put you back, let's put you back. I almost don't wanna do it because there's so much going on here but it is gonna be really cool. The rainbow thingy. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So first things first, I'm just gonna make this all white. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. And don't you worry your pretty little head cause with Squarespace, it's super easy. All you gotta do is drop your awesome content into their amazing templates and boom, you got a website. I'm absolutely crazy about their e-commerce. It's where I host my artist portfolio. It's how clients reach out to me and hire me for murals. They have mailing lists and member only areas. Areas. The list goes on. You don't need to know HTML. You don't need to know how to code. It's super easy. But if you do run into any issues, they have 24 seven customer support. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Oh yeah, baby. And with that, the mural 
is complete and there's just one thing left to do and that's to show you guys the final sexy shots. But first I just wanna say that second mural, the big mural, keep an eye out for that in an upcoming video. That wall is a totally different style and I think I might like it even better than the first one, I'm not sure. I guess you guys can be the judge of that when the time comes. I do wanna say thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. Huge thank you to this freaking billion dollar company that said, hey, 10 hundred. We think your art's pretty neato. <laughs> you should take your cool art and put it in our cool offices and your cool and our cool will come together and make mega cool. So thank you. One last thing, these hoodies, the Warrior Blossoms, this is a brand new colorway. The OG yellow one is one of the most requested and highly sought after hoodies I've ever designed and it's officially back in stock. I get emails about it all the time. It's back, baby. Check it out at tenhun.com. Also restocked a couple of other new designs like this one and this one. A couple of little popular, a little sold out little garments. They're back. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I'm Ten Hundred, and now the final sexy shot.